Start of episode three, we're actually getting a small look inside the ship. This is how we choose what missions we're going to take. We researched a chip, did an autopsy, bought some things, and then we moved to the next mission. The people we have are Jenny, Andrew, Nick, and Tyler again, who still has yet to buy a shirt. Now I should point out this is actually a rather important mission. Because we have to extract the VIP there, and take him over there. Now it starts off with stealth. Guys, so long as we maintain the element of surprise, we're going to be okay. Tyler moves forward in spots. You know, I, I really should really should name them. Uh, let's see, Black Armor Guy and Dickless. Tyler moves into position. Andrew moves into position. Jenny moves into position. Nick moves into position. Tyler goes up to get a bird's eye view. And gets spotted. And we see more. Why do... That's just the worst angle. Alright, so now our cover's blown. And we are moving forward. We have to figure out how to get out of here. Andrew takes position. Takes shot. First time out. Immediate kill. Jen takes a shot, misses. Nick moves, takes a shot, misses. Dickless number one moves over and reanimates a corpse. Dickless number two moves forward. And gets Tyler mind controlled. Boy, Tyler has a bad history of that. Andrew moves forward. Nick moves forward. Nick launches a grenade. Jen takes position. And connects a shot. Andrew did a little damage. Mind control Tyler moves forward. Does some damage on Andrew. Dickless number one moves forward. And takes control of Nick. Dickless number two brings a corpse back to life. We have a zombie move. Andrew relocates. Takes a shot. Shot goes wide. Jen misses her target. Mind control Nick moves forward and murders Andrew. Tyler moves forward and misses Jen. Dickless number one moves. Also misses Jen. Dickless number two repositions. And his shot connects. Under these heavy conditions, Jen relocates and shoots Tyler. We got a zombie move. Another zombie move. Tyler starts thinking straight, repositions, points his gun at the camera, and does some damage to Dickless too. Nick moves forward and finishes Tyler off. Jen relocates and puts down some cover. Nick moves and reloads. Dickless one points, moves forward, takes a shot at Nick and misses. Dickless two moves, takes a shot at Nick, misses. A zombie shambles up. Takes a swing and Jen and misses. Another zombie shuffles up behind Jen, slaps her on the back and kills her. Nick hightails it. The zombies reposition. Nick presses forward and gets spotted. And unfortunately, Nick's mind gets controlled. So yeah, they all died. 
and they can't come back. That's the point of Iron Man mode. Um, and they were four of my highest ranking soldiers, meaning that they had more health, they had more abilities, and they're gone. Can't bring them back. And that really sucks. And I wouldn't, and I'm not going to lie, I had considered just stopping there and restarting. Um, because I was legitimately mad. I was very, very pissed off at the whole thing that happened. Um, because I actually have another game that I used to practice to like kind of keep make sure that because I, I, if I'm just going to play a game once a week like this, you can't just you can't just kind of go for it in. So I have another game, and in that game, people are just fine. Uh, there's I'm not having I, I never had a total party kill like I did. Uh, so I was pretty upset. But then I thought, what would my best friend Jesus do? So I did exactly what he would have. I made myself some cheeky nugs, got a little bit to drink, and went back to work. Join us as we continue on with the game and get right into mission two. Alright, so we're going to try mission number two. In this mission, we have Chris, Tara, Sarah, and Brandon. Guys, this mission is an important one. Our allies are getting invaded and we need to go bail them out. This is a rescue mission. What that means is every single turn, the aliens are killing civilians. That little circle around the civilians means that once our soldiers get in there, that civilian is safe and taken off the battlefield. We have to save six of them. Well, let's go forward, save as many as we can, and try not to get spotted immediately. We saw what happened last time. Brandon rushes forward and saves someone. That's good. Brandon gets spotted by Dickless. That's bad. Tara takes cover and takes a shot. Tara's shot goes wide. Chris slides behind a rock and takes watch. Sarah moves forward and a civilian dies. Dickless takes control of Sarah. Soldier moves forward and Chris puts him down. Tara takes cover and reloads. Brandon relocates and shoots Dickless. Chris, not wanting to take the risk of missing, throws one of our new items. It was a frost grenade. We only have one. And that severed the mind control thing to Sarah. Sarah, wanting a bit of sweet, tasty revenge, takes a shot but misses. Oh, uh, civilian dies. Brandon puts a few rounds in Dickless's chest. Chris rushes in to finish the job. Tara takes position. Sarah goes and rescues another civilian. Another casualty. Brandon moves up, saves a civilian, and takes watch. Tara moves forward and takes watch. Chris moves forward and takes watch. Sarah moves forward and takes watch. Civic gets shot. Brandon moves forward and sees three civilians huddled together. He moves in to get them all, and suddenly... And what the hell is that? Like, what is it? It looks like... It looks like a piece of melted butter that face fucked a Roman centurion helmet. No, 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 no. No, it looks like a stretch Armstrong that's had a couple kids and you left it out in the sun too long and also has AIDS. I know I, I know I like freaked out about the last one, but he's just kind of dopey looking. Like he has like weird tentacle penis fingers. <laughs> he's just <laughs> Maybe that should make him more threatening. I don't know. Either way, Tara, not impressed, takes a shot at him. And apparently he reels back from it. He's kind of lovable. He's, he's a little lovable. Chris moves forward and puts a bunch of rounds in dick fingers, finishing him off. <laughs> that doesn't sound right. Sarah rescues a civilian. While another one gets killed. Brandon takes one step to his right 
saving a civilian and takes watch. Terra reloads. Chris moves forward. Sarah goes on watch. And civilian gets killed. Believe it or not, we're actually doing a pretty decent job. So far, no casualties, and we've saved a few. We only have to save six, guys. That's really all we gotta do. A couple soldiers come into Chris's view, and he takes a shot. They spot him and take defensive positions. Brandon moves forward and takes watch. Tara moves forward, puts the bad guy in her sights, and lays him down. Tara's the MVP here, guys. I I don't... I, you, look, all, I love you all, but you're going to have to do something really impressive to, to, to take that away from her. Sarah moves in and, feeling the pressure to one-up Tara, throws a grenade. It wasn't enough to kill him, but did some damage. Made him run away. That was very mean, Sarah. Brandon, hating church, smashes the glass, takes a shot at a guy running in his position and missed. Dickless, noticing Brandon's blasphemy, Moves forward. Brandon relocates, does some more heresy, and kills the red guy. Tara moves up. Chris repositions. Sarah saves the civilian and moves on. Dickless moves and tries to mind control, but fails. Brandon takes a shot and misses. Tara picking up his slack, kills him. Chris, wait, hold on, wait. Chris just put like, like, five rounds right inside Dickless's ass. I'm sorry, Tara. The MVP award just went to Chris. I I love you, hun, but. Look, you kill, kill a lot or one ass shot. Tara relocates. Dickless weakly points at Chris. Yeah, that's who shot you, asshole. Jumps down, reanimates the dead. Brandon moves forward and finishes the job. The zombie melts into puddly goo. Holy shit. Holy shit. Okay. All right. Let's let's take a second to appreciate exactly what happened here. We went from everybody dying, complete casualties, to a mission that was kind of hard that introduced a brand new enemy, and all of our soldiers went in, kicked ass, take names, did an asshole shot, and nobody got hurt. I am so talk about night and fucking day so guys now it is the favorite time promotions brandy gets a sword tara gets a minigun and chris gets a sniper guys thank you so much for watching this i'm sorry it was a little late i was sick last week uh got over it got better um now we're ready to go moving forward we'll try to do one of these every week I hope you had a great time. Please do me a favor. If, if this video made you laugh, give me a like. Consider a subscribe and go out and be the best part of someone's day. Gabriel?